pack pack collector's here. Finally getting around to doing a video on the newest pipe we're offering on site. The H Weed Pipes radiator pack. This one's mine. Hector Weed. Awesome pipe. Awesome pipe. Um a few things I found out about it. Figured out. Um we'll go over it. These are two different examples. Blasted, full, smooth. Nice. It's got great grain on it. Bird's eye front and back. Cross cut block. It's got the, the gold radiator. This one's got the black. And then there's a, a regular natural aluminum silver uh, radiator available. I believe we have some of each still on the website. Um, start by taking taking it apart where it comes apart. Stem comes off, the mouthpiece. Stainless steel shank that's pressed in. That that doesn't come out. But then the bowl just threads right off. So there's your three three pieces, which is really nice because you can get this super clean. Um, taken apart like this. I found, and in talking to Hector, the best way to clean this section water and a nylon bristle shank brush, which we will have available on site. I have some already from uh, Makisuru. Handy to have, regardless, just for doing maintenance on your uh, regular briar pipes. I suggest getting your hands on one. Um, the ones Hector has, and I believe we'll have available, have a coated tip to keep you from scratching any of the parts on it. Um, maintenance, very simple. Water and a shank brush, or even just a pipe cleaner, or a, a bristled pipe cleaner. After every smoke, I did it. Um, and that helps switch from tobacco to, to tobacco. There's no ghosting left in this part. I also found it beneficial for several reasons. You see this draws on the bottom like a calabash. That being said, cake buildup, you don't want to go over your draw hole on the bottom. So every time I was finished smoking, I just bend a pipe cleaner over my finger like so. I do this with all my pipes. Just get it off. You'll still build a cake. It'll take a little longer, but that's not a bad thing. These come not coated, which I prefer. Um, that's kind of up there. I have uh, customers that are both ways on that. Some prefer a bowl coat, some would rather not have one. I just assume build my own cake, so there's that. So these threaded, maintenance on these super simple. The uh, thickness of the wall is just perfect. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. It disperses heat very well. I tried really hard to overheat this pipe and uh, although I did get it hot, you'll get any pipe hot, um, it was never, it was never uh, in danger of burning out. So, Yes, there's that maintenance on this, simple maintenance on this. Um, there will be, af not aftermarket necessarily, but there will be separate bowls available. Um, I know Hector's working on possibly some different shapes. We've got some different ideas um, concerning the bowls on these. It could be lots of fun. It will be lots of fun. Two ounces, these weigh in at total. Um, Majority of the weight obviously is on this end. I did clench my pipe, and it wasn't a, it's not uncomfortable. It's not it's not the heaviest pipe I've ever clenched. Um, it's a little tall, but also I don't mind that. It's kind of a, a cool aesthetic to me. Really, I don't consider either of those a drawback. Two ounces in weight. That's not bad. Aluminum, stainless, briar. I mean, you're going to have a little weight on the end of that, but it's not 
it's not too bad. And I found this, the radiator was a great place to, to hold the pipe. It's super comfortable. Smoke like a chimney too. Um, another thing I didn't go over, great design feature when Hector put the radiator portion on this. This was one of the first things I checked. I've got a different two-piece tankard pipe that didn't go through this trouble. But he's got a good, uh, I don't know what that measures at, but I mean that's pretty deep. So the, the moisture falls out into the well. He's got plenty of well built in, so you're going to smoke that entire bowl and never pull Doddle through your draw hole. Um, trust me, that's not comfortable. I did that on that other pipe I speak of. Never happened on this one. Cold weather smoking, any of you that live in cold weather climates will know that your pipes tend to smoke considerably moister, and uh, you're hard pressed not to have to run a pipe cleaner through it quite often with this pipe, dropping out most of the moisture in the chamber, in the well. I did get some bubble up in the stainless shank, but the beauty of this pipe, just give it a little, just get a little puff in, reverse draw if you will, and it blew the moisture out, dropped it into the chamber, continued to go. I didn't run a pipe cleaner through an entire bowl many times. Um, and you will have a, a fair amount of moisture in that chamber at the end of your smoke. Back to some maintenance. I know I'm jumping around a little bit here. I found it easier to let your pipe cool and then remove the bowl and, and dump your ash at that point. You go to dump your ash prior to taking the pipe apart and you're going to make a mess because all the moisture that's sitting in that chamber, in the well, just went up into here and into the bottom of your thing. So keep it upright, pull the bowl off before you dump your ash. Just a little pointer, if you will. Then once you've done that, do the maintenance on the bowl, set it aside, go run some water through this, clean out the well. I just stored mine like upside down on a paper towel. Good to go. Smoke it again. Um, tough pipes, uh, very durable, um, hold up well to several smokes a day, that's what I was doing with it. Um, it. It's a great pipe, I mean aesthetically it's a hit and miss with people. I had some people say they absolutely hate it, others love the look. Um, but that's the beauty of pipes, not everybody's going to love every pipe. Uh, chance to be unique sometimes, a little different, and, and this is a different pipe. I really enjoy it. I like the looks of it. I like the looks of classic pipes. I just, I just love pipes. So my overall review of this pipe, especially at the price point it sets, getting a hell of a lot of pipe for the money, and you are going to smoke the living tar out of this thing. Um, this pipe will last a lifetime smokes really really well. It uh, smokes better than I thought it would. It actually surprised me. Um, with the replacement bowls that are going to be coming out, uh, it's going to be, this will be a pipe you keep in your collection and it will stay in your rotation. I will darn near guarantee it. So go check them out. We've got them on the website now, www.tobaccopipecollectors.com. Um, we will always have them in stock. Hector's working hard turning bowls, um, getting shipments as we run low, working on new design. Um, we plan on keeping these on site as long as Hector plans on turning them. So go check them out. Go see the color combinations we still have available on the website. Um, we've sold a bunch of them. Right now they are as is. So. There's no switching bowls and radiator colors at this point. There possibly could be a time where you can build your own. And yeah, I would suggest going and taking a look at it and picking yourself up one. All right, pipe smokers. I think.
that covers it. Um, I have a feeling I'll be doing another video on these mm, a couple months in. Uh, see how everything is holding up on them, which I have no doubt it will hold up fine. But uh, go check them out. Thanks for watching. It's good to see you. And sweet smokes. Peace.